guys, it's Kelsey, and I will be doing a Slayer guide on how to kill aberrant specs. So, um, I'm going to show you where you can kill aberrant specs, what you need, all of that jazz, and the requirements. So, the requirements to kill aberrant spectres is 60 Slayer. So, if you don't have 60 Slayer, you're going to need to get that if you want to kill these. And I'm going to show you two types of gear setups. If you are below 80 defense, which most of y'all who are watching this probably are, this is the setup you're probably going to want to use. Now, it's completely optional, but it's highly recommended. So, you're going to be using prayer with this setup, and you're going to be protecting its magic. So, if you have below 80 defense, you're going to be wanting to use in, using initiate or proselyte. And these two sets of white looking armor basically give you prayer bonus. And prayer bonus means that your prayer will last longer in these gear setups. Another thing you're going to want is an RD cloak because it gives prayer bonus. Or perhaps a prayer cape like Guthic Ceradomen or a Zamorak cloak because they give prayer bonus and your prayer will last longer. You can get Initiate, which is the lower tier of Proselyte, from completing the Recruitment Drive quest. And you can get Proselyte by completing the Slug Menace quest. Okay? And if you do not have a Slayer Helm, that's absolutely fine, but you need a Nose Peg. So if you do not have a Slayer Helm, which comes with a Nose Peg, you must have a Nose Peg for killing aberrant specs, which you can get from the Slayer Masters for a very low cost or on the Grand Exchange. Now, you're going to want pretty much 50% of your inventory being prayer pots. You want a little bit more than what I have currently, and then you can also bring an herb sack or a gem sack. This is optional, but you will save so much inventory space from getting these two items. You can get the gem sack from Motherload Mine, which I have a guide on my channel, and you can get the herb sack from a Slayer Master for 700 points. Okay? The second setup I'm going to show is for higher level players who have 85 plus defense. And what they're going to be using is Dehide or Carols. You can also do this as a lower level defense as well. Because if you don't want to use prayer, this is another method. However, I really recommend only doing this if you have minimum 80 plus defense. I'm using Carols because it has a very good magic defense. Or you can use Dehide and switch out your uh, prayer bonus capes for a fire cape or your best cape you have like obby cape or a 99 cape or anything of the such okay so if you're using the method i am using just bring food if you are using the proselyte or initiate or any kind of prayer bonus gear Remember that you can also use monk robes. No need to worry about doing a quest. You can just use monk robes, and those give a lot of prayer bonus as well. However, proselyte is uh, what you really want to use. Now, Neve is going to be here, and this is her slayer uh, cave. However, I see Steve because, no spoiler alert, I have done Monkey Menace 2, and you'll figure out what happens to Neve. Anyway, the location for Aberrant Specs... There, is mul there are multiple locations, and I'm going to go over the locations with you. I am doing this at Trino Stronghold in the Slayer Cave in Trino Stronghold. However, you can also go to the Slayer Cave in Mor Mor Mauritania, and this is the well, it's a Slayer Tower, and it's up north, uh, west of Kenneth's. Canifus. And the Aberrant Specs will be in this Slayer Tower as well. You can also teleport using a Slayer Ring to this location or using a um, Fairy Ring and running north. However, this is my favorite location over here personally, and I'm going to show you how to find Aberrant Specs in this location. Uh, the other location is not too difficult. You just need to go up a f certain flight of stairs in the tower. And the there is a a uh, quest requirement in order to get to the Slayer Tower in Mortania, and that is Priest in Peril. For this, there is no quest requirement. Okay, so you're going to enter the cave, and once you're here, you're going to go south. You'll see some blood velds. So run south, and there's going to be another tunnel. Enter this tunnel, and if you're using the proselyte or prayer setup, you're going to want to put on your magic prayer. 
If you're using the setup I am, don't worry about it. And here are the aberrant specs. Make sure you have your nose peg. I've already mentioned that before, but people forget it and it's a big deal because you end up taking uh, your stats drain to basically zero really quickly and you won't be able to kill them without it. A Slayer Helm comes with a nose peg and that would be the best way to go. Thank you so much for watching. And I also would like to mention one little add-on. If you're an advanced player, you probably will want to do the aberrant specs in the catacombs. It's an advanced uh, version of the aberrant spec, and they're much harder to kill. Frankly, I don't enjoy them because they take a very long time to kill, and they have the same drops as these do. However, that if you get a superior creature, you are guaranteed totems, etc. This is on Zaya which is a new continent in old school runescape. I just didn't want to overcomplicate this video. But if you're interested in that, you can go to the dungeons in Corin on Zaya, and there are some more advanced aberrant specs that you may be interested in. And lastly, if you haven't uh, uh, unlocked your superior slayer monsters, highly recommend that because aberrant specs do have a superior slayer monster called the abhorrent spectre spectre i think i'm horrible at pronounce um pronouncing things i'm really sorry but uh that's going to be uh, a higher version level and it's going to be superior slayer monster and they're great xp and you get a chance of getting an imbued heart Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like my video and it helped you out, you can subscribe to my channel to watch for more upcoming videos. I also do an Iron Woman series if you're ever interested in watching that. Thanks so much.